Goodbye. See you, over there. See you on the other side. Yes, enjoy. Have a, have a great sale. Great. So excited. Yes. At last, the day has come. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. Got a light breeze, what is it, 10 to 15? Maybe 12? To yeah, about 11 knots. Yeah. Out of the northeast, so it'll be a broad reach across the start line, and there's 65 boats out, and everybody's yelling. How exciting is this? Perfect day for it. It's nice and warm. So, bye bye, Canary Islands. Everything is great. There's a whole pile of boats out. We're out in plenty of time. The start is in another 22 minutes. Sorry, 37 minutes more till the start. We've got a jam in our furling gear and must take down the sail to fix it. Seems we used a narrow line that escaped the drum and wrapped around the stay, live and learn. This would be a lot easier to fix if we were tied to a dock instead of roaring along downwind. Hard to reach it, eh? Anthony is a professional rigger and points out we need a few changes to correct this when we get into Cabo Verde in another four days. So we found we're missing a split pin and we have to try to get the tangle cleared and then hopefully we can get the Genoa back up again. So we're going to make a chafe protectors out of a bit of this hose. Next we deal with a chafing problem, hours and hours of fast downwind sailing, 
have worn the line holding our large Genoa sail, so it's almost chafed through. Our plan is to use some hose to protect the line. Right through. It has to go through the jaw of the pole, and that's where it chafes, and if we do need to use this, we'll need it on this side too. Run. We're almost halfway to the Cabo Verge. We've got a couple of boats nearby on AIS, a big catamaran, and a Shalina Oyster 57, pretty nearby, and got some nice winds and about probably two and a half days to get into Cabo Verde. So tonight is the last, possibly last or second last night. We have a very, very light winds. I think it's only blowing about seven knots, unfortunately, downwind. Oh, so we're bouncing and banging up. We've had such a great sail, I don't want to put the engine on. We've got about 150 miles to go to the Cabo Verde Islands. So hopefully the wind will pick up a little bit over the night or in the morning.
Anthony. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for watching this Distant Shores sailing video. Please give it a thumbs up or share it with your sailing friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Are you interested in the cruising lifestyle? Are you planning to sail away on a cruising adventure? Or researching cruising areas and destinations? Distant Shores is a television series about the cruising life with lots of tips for sailors planning to sail away. This is Oswego, New York. We are entering the Erie Canal system and this will take us all the way from Lake Ontario to the Hudson River which gets us to New York City. Plus destination information to help you make your cruising plans. Yeah, I can stand on the bottom. We've been filming Distant Shores for nearly 15 years and know the fun and challenges of the cruising life. We've made distant shores with you in mind. We include plenty of cruising tips in this travel series, as well as lifestyle segments and hints for sailors heading to exotic destinations. Encouragement for you and your crew to get out cruising. Destinations include the Intracoastal Waterway, the Bahamas, Caribbean, the Mediterranean, Scandinavia, Transatlantic Passage Making, the French canals and more.